Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Deborah Taylor T and with Adeline, right? Adeline, Adeline yes. Who is a Shih Tzu? Shih Tzu. She right. was uh, rescued with uh, 10 other Shih Tzus from a, a, a very terrible situation. Um, and uh, back in a few months ago, actually, uh, in a neighboring county. So uh, Adeline here is one of several Shih Tzus that we have available for adoption through Barktown Rescue. And uh, she's very sweet. We think she's about three or four years old. Uh, she is very laid back puppy. Yeah. So if you're looking for a, a dog to be a lap dog for you, to be a companion, uh, not raise a lot of ruckus or play around, play like a puppy does, because she sleeps, she sleeps, and she she does snore a little bit. Um, but she is That's a great okay. dog. We're fostering her. She gets along well with our two dachshunds and our Rottweiler mix. Um, she's fitting right in right now. Very uh, pretty. If my house was bigger, you know, here's another one I'd consider adopting because uh, she is such a sweet girl, <laughs> and uh, I think she'd make a great pet for practically any home. Um, maybe a senior would like a laid back companion, you know, keep keep them company and and uh, just be a little snuggle bunny. That's right. Yeah, snuggle peppy, I should say. Yeah, because you like to take a rest every once in a while, don't you? Yeah. Every few minutes. That's right. <laughs> Good girl. She right. she has she does have a little bit of spunk when when we get up in the morning. She's ready to to go in the kitchen and eat something, or <laughs> she'll go outside and come back in and and Eating seem to have out. energy. Um, but that's pretty short lived. Usually she gets back on the doggy bed and just kicks back and takes her a power nap. So. Um, love this little girl, and like I said, she's got probably brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, whatever, um, from the 11 that we did rescue, um, and we had, I, we had to clear out the rescue, Gary, uh, of a lot of the dogs and some of the cats that we had because we were part of the LaRue County rescue effort, uh, with the hoarders, and, uh, so we're very happy we, we are able to help these animals. A lot of them are very sweet, but we, if you are looking for a pet through the holiday season, now is the time because we have small ones and big ones and uh, different breeds. Uh, we took in 25 more dogs and 12 cats uh, from that rescue, and we are looking for homes for so many. Um, there are so many now in foster care and, and at the rescue. You can come down and, and see them at 295 Petersburg Road, um, the old Boston School, or uh, look up online. Uh, the whole list is uh, under Animals for Adoption at BarktownRescue.org. Great. So, so go to BarktownRescue.org, find out more about all the dogs, cats, kittens, and puppies that are available for adoption. You can also make a donation if you're looking for somewhere to donate for the end of the year. Barktown Rescue is a nonprofit that would love to uh, help you out there, too. Oh, hi. we would welcome donations. Right now, we need cleaning supplies, garbage bags, um, monetary donations, absolutely. You can use PayPal on our website uh, to make a donation, a monetary donation, where we can buy things we need. But with all the new cats, we've got to, our cat room is, is pretty full. We need, could use kitty litter, uh, dry cat and dog food pedigree, or Purina brands if possible, and uh, treats. You name it, we can use it. Bleach, cleaning supplies. Uh, there's always a need at Barktown Rescue, and we really appreciate anything anyone can do to help us out. Uh, whether it's adopt a sweet, sweet puppy like Miss Sweet Adeline here, don't want her to fall off the table, um, <laughs> or or any of our other animals, or if you uh, can contribute to our needs, we greatly appreciate it. Go to BarktownRescue.org. This has been Gary White with Deborah Taylor T and with Adeline.